Okay, here we got a 2006 Lariat F250. This one's four wheel drive with a 6.0 power stroke. Got a couple Viper fobs here. Uh, two factory fobs and two functioning keys. Pretty cool. It's got multiple levels to the uh, alarm. You can go level one. I guess that's the sensitivity of the alarm itself. I'm going to attempt to do the push to start. I know it does function. However, I don't know how to use it. There, I hear the injectors. And obviously it doesn't run forever. It's probably not designed for diesels, but it does function. I've have I have had it fire up before. Show you that the key works the door. Probably tripped it out here. All right. Let's do it the correct way. Probably about 95 degrees here. Got 180,000 miles on this one. A nice little aftermarket Pioneer uh, radio. Got the uh, steering wheel AC controls, those function. We'll see if maybe the, the radio ones do not function. However, I've seen it before where you can get the aftermarket radios to work off these. Uh, not all of them do it. Cruise control, everything like that. Fog light model. Auto window works correctly. smooth windows functioning power window or power mirror and these move uh, every direction there's no hesitation there no skipping Will need a horn. AC blows ice cold. Let's get this turned up to where we can see the controls here. Got selectable aux switches. Trailer brake functions correctly. Go ahead and test this 12 volt. Heating up, 12 volt works. Uh, there's a tiny switch in here. I'm not sure what that does. Nice cup holders, all the parts are there. Everything moves nice and free. nice little edge programmer for crit Blah. programmer um, you can monitor your EGTs you can change the tune uh, whatever you really uh, desire great looking headliner in this one even though
the visors are in great shape. Could all work in lights. Tow haul button works. We'll go ahead, cycle the four wheel drive straight to four low. Goes right in, four high, too high. This one does have the heated seats. Great looking leather. Got a little wear here on this uh, little armrest. All the seat controls function properly. Tint on this truck looks great too. No bubbles or odd colors. It's fantastic looking interior. Seat backs look great. Carpet's nice and clean. So we got a little bit of staining over on that side. I will take a better look. Like I said, great looking tent, not too dark, not cheap. As you can see, there's no uh, fifth wheel or gooseneck in this truck. Uh, hasn't seen any major towing. Got this cool little Geneva lockbox. Uh, I'll check the keys, see if we have that key. But, kind of one of those things. Top seat's bed rails look great. Plastic's not all chewed up. Never been a big toolbox in here or anything. All these door handles, looks like maybe they had those covers on it. There is some adhesive on here. Uh, it could come off, you could recover them either way, but just about all, every one of them has it. It's just some kind of 3M tape or something along those lines. Heated seat on this side as well. All buttons function correctly. Seat moves nice and smooth, no crazy noises. The Lariat stitching looks great. This armrest is, looks untouched. Center console's got a little bit of wear here. Everything's all there, nice and sturdy. Get a good look at this dash. It looks pretty sweet. We didn't test the AC controls. I'm gonna take it to the floor real quick. Turn it up so you can hear it switch. And blow it super hard, go up to defrost. Everything functions properly. Factory manual, USB port, uh, factory spare key, an extra little cigarette lighter. Great looking door panels. Great looking truck. The paint looks great. 
Uh, we do have a couple scratches, some little dents we, we need to cover. Flawless chrome. But it's nice. You got your minor little rock chips up here in the front to be expected. Little bubble here in the chrome. Hardly noticeable. As you can see, our uh, cab LED lights are working as well as our side markers. This is just a little bit of extra wax. It's not damaged or anything from the detail. We are on a rock lot, so the truck is a little bit dusty. Right back here, we have a pretty good scratch. And it goes all the way back out to the tail light. Tailgate looks great. Does have its fair share of little scratches. A pretty good one right here that runs the length of it. Great look looking rear bumper. Another mentionable scratch here. Runs about here to right here. That one should be a little more visible. Uh, this truck's rust free. Like I said, the truck's just kind of super dirty. My paint looks great. Decent little scratch here. I barely feel that one. It could buff out fairly easy. Still has the cab corners up here. Uh, they are a little faded, but at least it has them. Not seeing any problem areas up here on the roof. got some immaculate wheels. Uh, tires are in great shape. Uh, these are 275 65 R20s. Uh, they got a lot of life left on them. They're all matching. Uh, they look super good. We'll go ahead and push the parking brake here. Indicator works. It's super firm. That's about as far as I can get it. fog lights all the lights on this truck function properly nice uh, interstate batteries a lot of cranking amps Clean tranny fluid, no abnormal smells there.
like I said, totally rust free. Good southern trot. Nice looking spare back here. Motor sounds fantastic. And uh, we'll go run it through some gears. even with the windows down. Uh, looks like the, the fuel level sensor is probably glitching a little bit. Uh, Ford's, Ford's in there are common issues. Uh, we'll throw some more fuel in it. I'm pretty sure we already did. It was working when we did our initial inspections, so could just be right there out of range. Get these windows up. See a little bit better. better sound quality we're gonna head to the highway there I'll uh, pretty much just put it through all the gears we'll do a couple kick downs and as you can see this thing shifts great super clean smooth shifts nice tight steering rotational noise at all and it sounds super good all right here we'll do about 50 percent throttle uh, all the way up to speed, hopefully about 80 um, if traffic allows us. Truck sounds awesome, super clean. anything like that no pulling we'll go ahead get it to kick down here there's 90 as smooth as can be Great boost. Uh, nothing 
crazy though at all. It's very conservative. Exactly how I'd set mine up. I will hit tow haul. It's really nice. Um, turns smooth, not getting any hub noise or anything when I'm loading the wheels. About 600 right now as we're coasting now we're dropping to about the low fives so all good all around Here, test the cruise control. All right, on set. All right, cruise control functions properly. We'll go ahead and try to speed it up a little bit. That's functioning. I will test out the coast. All right, all is well. This is our 06 Lariat. <laughs> 